Hello guys, how are you doing? It's been 5 days since Xiaomi started rolling out stable Android Oreo update to Mi A1 users. Even though the ROM is stable enough as a daily driver, there are a couple of issues many users are facing. Let's see what those issues are and how to fix them. Starting with HD capable icon on the notification bar, this is kind of annoying as this is a permanent notification and you can't simply remove this. There are a couple of ways to handle this. First thing would be swiping right on the notification and select the tiny clock icon and you can snooze this notification everywhere. But this is a temporary solution and the HD icon will be back after this specified time. Next you can try long pressing on the HD icon notification. Select more settings, IMS from categories. Click on importance and change it from urgent to low and also change the lock screen setting. This way we can remove the notification sound and the lock screen notification. The notification will still stay intact in the notification bar but it will be below all the notifications. There's another way, go to settings, apps and notifications, app info, click on 3 dot menu and select show system app. Navigate to org.codeaurora.ims app and force stop it. This way, the notification will be gone completely from the notification bar and also from the lock screen but this will be back once you restart the phone. I had no issues making and receiving HD calls after doing so. You can also try an app called Auto Notification from Google Play Store. Select Notification Blocking within the app. Enable the notification intercept service. Click on the plus icon on the top and search for org.codearora.ims. Select the app and click OK. That's it, the notification will be gone from lock screen, notification bar and it won't be back even after a reboot. If you want the notification back, you have to delete the setting and reboot the phone. Some people are experiencing an error called mobile data has run out and this is happening only for certain carriers. Try these fixes one by one to see if your issue gets resolved. First try toggling airplane mode on and off and if it doesn't work try rebooting your phone. Also try going to settings, network and internet, data usage, billing cycle from mobile, select data warning and increase the data warning usage from 15 GB to let's say 200 GB or 150 GB and try toggling airplane mode on and off again. Also go to apps and notification, app info, show system apps and forced off the app called Carrier Default App. And finally, see if your APN is correctly configured. If everything seems normal, try deleting and re-entering the APN details. With Android Oreo, there seemed to be a huge battery drain bug, especially when the phone is connected to a Bluetooth device. My suggestion would be, if you are not using your phone with Bluetooth, just make sure that the Bluetooth setting is turned off altogether. Android Oreo supports different Bluetooth formats and you can find these under Developer Options of System menu. Go to Developer Options, select Bluetooth Audio Codec and you will find different options like SBC, Aptex, Aptex HD and LDAC. Coming to the camera, I have seen couple of YouTube videos and many people complaining that the stock camera is lagging and it is taking too much time to open. Let me tell you guys, there is no issue with the camera, the only problem is that you might have rooted your phone or you must be on modified boot. Just restore to stock and everything should be back to normal. There's no way to get fingerprint gestures by default if you hadn't enabled these on Nougat or did a factory reset after Oreo update. Fortunately, there's an app called Fingerprint Action Pro with which you can set multiple gestures for single and double swipes like opening notifications, changing audio tracks, increasing and decreasing brightness and audio volume. 
Some people are facing app sync issues, especially after upgrading to Android Oreo. Apps won't show any notifications, and you'll get these notifications only when you open that specific app. If you are one of those guys, you must have clear data from Google Services Framework app for getting the OTA notification. There are a couple of fixes to try. First would be uninstalling and reinstalling that specific app. Next try logging out and logging back in to your Google account. If you are getting an error like this chain isn't allowed by your admin, go back to settings, security and lock screen. Select screen lock from device security and disable any pin or pattern you have set up. Now you will be able to remove your Google account successfully. There seems to be a bug with the location icon being showing up on the status bar even after turning off all the location services. To fix this, go to settings, display, select night light, change turn on automatically setting from sunset to sunrise to customize schedule. You can also turn off this setting completely and now you won't have any location icon on the status bar. If you are trying to get picture in picture mode work with YouTube on Chrome browser and if you are getting redirected to the YouTube app, go to the settings, apps and notifications, app info, navigate to the YouTube app and click on open by default and select open supported links and change it to ask every time. There are a couple of bugs with the dialer app like missed calls being showing up under the outgoing calls. A simple restart will fix this interimly but you may have to reset your phone for a permanent fix. There was a time when I got a call, I was playing a music file with Geo Music, and surprisingly the music continued to play and the incoming call shifted to vibrate mode. If you had ever faced this issue, go to app info, Geo Music, permissions, remove all permissions and give them back. The default stock launcher has some customizations like enabling and disabling Google app on home screen, notification dots, changing icon shapes, but if you are looking for more customizations like dark theme, you may need to get a custom launcher like the Pixel 2 modded launcher. You can enable system UI tuner by long pressing the gear icon under the quick settings where you can customize battery icon, change time format and also enable and disable status bar icons. And finally, there's no network data monitor by default so you can use third party app like internet speed meter light. So that's it guys, I hope you liked it, drop a comment below if you have any questions, thanks for watching, goodbye and take care.